Hey gang, welcome back to Big Board. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, last night I ran a, a Rise of the Roman Republic session and did that live. And of course, when we're playing live, that's one thing. When we're playing by ourselves solo and have time to reflect on what we might want to do and what our turn actions might be, we come up with some different ideas. And so as I was playing, uh, looking uh, to play uh, later, uh, earlier on today, I uh, realized that there was probably some more optimal things that could have been done for the uh, Roman player and that there were probably some smarter moves for the, the Samnium player to participate in. I also went back and reread the alliance rules and how that impacts the tracks, which are these tracks over here. And, uh, you know, there's some opportunities there if some die rolls go well for the Samnium player to try and move the Roman allies, uh, alliance tracks around, and same for the, the, the Romans, all the Romans. It's a little, little bit difficult because they have to spend a guile point, and uh, neither of the leaders that started on the board have a guile point. So what I decided to do was to replay the turn using the same chip pull sequence that we had over here on the left, which is just out of sight. There you go, right there, right? And uh, basically, you know, the historical setup here is probably a clue as to some of the first actions that the Romans should take given they get the first chip pull, right? So there was a force here of uh, Semnite infantry of eight strength uh, sitting in uh, Neapolis, and they had uh, been ejected by the Neapolese, or the Napolese, I guess, as the case may be, the blokes from Naples, and uh, they had uh, requested uh, support from the Romans. So, the, so I took that as a hint, and what we did was, uh, pardon the chair, it was uh, send down uh, this consular army here, the first consular army. They attacked a leaderless force, pretty much get, gave them a good uh, ass kicking because they got all sorts of uh, benefits from the leadership die rolls and then the uh, the um, combat, there's a combat modifier for the Romans, all sorts of good stuff. So that happened first up. That of course disrupts these guys, disorganizes these chaps. They had to retreat, or in fact they chose to retreat. The pursuit and butchery bill was uh, an extra step of losses, so they lost three steps. On the way down, First Consular Army, Calvinus, uh, the the uh, the leader there, decided that he needed to put some troops in Capua. So he did that. He dropped off five along the way and managed to get his continuation roll and then pounded into here. And and in fact, because he won, he then had another opportunity to do something because he rolled, he made his next continuation roll, but he elected to stay here. Uh, I I left this Second Consular Army right here because it's a good good staging ground and a good place to potentially try and intercept forces that try and reach into Latium and the, the Samnites moved from Bovianum into this little town here, Sapinum and uh, that main reason why is because that gives us a little bit easier launching point and lower attrition potential uh, when we when we do indeed try to do something. Now, because we had multiple of these, we have three of these, the next thing we did after we moved one hex was uh, to try and do a manpower raise, and we failed. Uh, so that was painful. We also then tried in the third activation, we tried a, uh, a diplomacy or alliance action to try and move some of the uh, the chits around for uh, the, you know the Roman allies uh, by uh, by conducting uh, ambassador sh ambassadorship uh, ambassador actions. So uh, those went okay. Uh, we moved uh, two. We used uh, two actions. We did two guile. Used two guile points and conducted those. 
And so that basically ended up the turn. Uh, we we raised, oh, we did raise legions. That's what uh, that's why these guys didn't move, is because they decided to raise legions. So they wrote, they uh, raised two legions. Uh, so they're now up to full strength because if you recall from yesterday's video, they had uh, no uh, second legion here. So it was kind of a half of a consular army, a little bit of a weird construct for this particular game, but it's just uh, kind of a, a a rule for effect for this particular scenario. So that's a little recap of the first turn, and we'll be tuning back in once we go through the exercise of flipping all these guys over uh, and doing the end turn sequence. And we'll be doing Roman, Roman elections because we had one leader die as part of the augury, and we'll now need to re-elect new, new consuls for the two consular armies, and we'll be back in business in just a little while. I look forward to talking to you again all real soon. Cheers.